Hello, my friends, my coding friends. I am working on another blog here, the second part to my blog on TypeScript and Webpack component libraries. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a boilerplate project that people can start with to create these kind of components quite easily. So I've kind of started the work here, but I'm, I'm just going to finish it. So what we have is quite similar to the smart terminal on the solar pop-up, which I've sh shown you before, except I've simplified it even more. So the component that I'm going to use is a boilerplate, which you guys can extend will look like this. So we basically have, we're implementing an interface here. Uh, we have a detach and a detach method. We have some basic CSS, an index CSS, and some file that you can import. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish this component on NPM and then I'm going to make a demo showing you guys how to use this component. So in the blog, I'm explaining how to clone this project, and how to rename certain words, and how to test it locally. So let's just rename it so that you can imagine. What I've, what I've done, and I've went to NPM and I've, I've searched for is there a component called TypeScript component? I'm going to publish it under this name. But there isn't anything that has that name, so hopefully we can publish it. I'm just going to go to the package JSON and so we're going to rename this component. I'm going to do select this text here. I'm going to rename it TypeScript component. Um, find all files. And that should replace all the instances of my component with TypeScript component. And then I'm also want to change the name of this here to TypeScript component. So I'm going to just TypeScript component factor. Let's change this one. Tape script component. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to change the name of this. Close up, close the other ones. I'm going to change the name of this to TypeScript component. I'm just take a screenshot of that and uh, paste it into my blog so that it's kind of obvious. I really hope this uh, publishes to TypeScript to NPM. Medium's okay. I get by with it. So let's see if it compiles on the root here. Oh, let's finish this. Find. Okay. All files. This is kind of like live coding, which I don't really do too often. When I grow this channel, I want to do some live streaming, but I don't have enough subscribers yet, or fast enough internet connection. So let's just see if it compiles. Pack. All right, compiled. Let's just double check the package JSON before we publish on NPM. TypeScript component. Now that's how you spell TypeScript component, isn't it? Yes. So we want to publish all the files in the demo and all the files in the, the TypeScript component file and the JavaScript file and we want to publish the TypeScript definitions as well. The kind of neat thing about this project is because in the TypeScript config we have declaration2, then all the declaration files 
are published as well, which saves you having to publish your definitions on definitely typed. So let's just go ahead and publish it. Normally I would run a script to publish it, but what we're going to do is we're going to do webpack minus p. If you look at the, this is the code when you web publish webpack without the production flag, but then when you do webpack minus p, it will publish it in production, so it will actually minify all this stuff. It'll be really, really small. Right, so that's what it'll look like when it's minified. Now let's publish it. So it's just going to be simple npm publish. This is the moment of truth. Okay, then. okay it worked. Great. So now if we go to npm, we'll see if it really is there. There we go. There we go. How exciting. When you publish something to NPM, this thing really jumps up to like 40 downloads a day or something like that. It's funny. You can spam it, like you can release like 10 times a day, you'll get a huge spike in your uh, your stats. If you like stats, you know. Okay, good enough. It's good enough. If it's good enough, it's good enough. So there's a couple of spikes I had when I was working on some many releases on the same thing in one day. Well, just this video file. So let's go and try and get the demo to work now. So if we just cd into demo, so we'll do npm install, we'll get our dependencies. So in this demo, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to import my my file. Oh, the door. Got some mail. I think I know what this is. Ah, yes. This is my bean bag. New bean bag. So at the moment in this demo file here, we don't have access to this because we haven't installed it as a dependency. So we can install it in ISD. TypeScript, comp TypeScript component. So there we go. There's our TypeScript component. And then we'll have a node modules folders appearing. Once WebStorm gets a move on, I really like WebStorm. It's like my favorite IDE because it has everything very well integrated, but sometimes it is just really slow. WebStorm, please speed up your IDE. Thank you. Okay, so I have to. So there we go. So there we have our dependency on the TypeScript component. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this. Yes, there we go. Why did I do that, you might ask? Well, I'm just going to link to the parent one directly. So I'm just going to run sh link sh. So as you can see, TypeScript component should be in here. So there we are, eventually. So they've got an arrow here, which means it's a sim link pointing to the folder. So if we change any files in here, we don't have to publish it to then pull it down into the demo. We're linking directly. What you can do is you can actually set up the web webpack watch polling here, and then you can also set up webpack watch polling here, to have both compiling uh, and making changes at the same time. So let me just show you how I do that. So I have a, in my aliases, I have a webpack, my webpack command. So I've got webpack 
watch watch poll ww. So I can start the webpack running and the here like this on the on the root of the folder. And then we can go to the demo of the folder and we can do the same. So the demo will be the demo project will be compiling too. I don't know why this repeats like this on the compiling. Uh, it's, don't worry about it. Not a big deal. So in our demo, this demo here is what's being compiled here. This is the output of the demo. So the demo, what a demo does is it imports our TypeScript component and it basically attaches it to the selector, this container here. So we're attaching our component to the container. Um, and all our component does at the moment is it is a button that when they click on the button, it says hello world to the console. That's all the functionality that we will need here. So if we go to the build, you can see that our index has been copied in the output of Webpack. We have our app.js, which has the file, the code. And we can run this in the browser now. So we have our component here. We have a container under a button and we click click me and it says hello world. Ta -da! Da -da 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 -da. So if you want to publish this demo onto GitHub, you can run my deploy script here. What this will do is it will check out the master branch. It will then delete the existing GitHub pages branch. It will then check an orphan branch and then CD into demo, run webpack, um, go up a couple, a dig, up, a, up a directory, add the demo build, and then publish it to GitHub. So if you look at the moment, we can see that we just have these two commits here. Um, and then I'm going to run my script. So sh deploy. So just check deploy was this here. So let's start running that. Let's run it once. Uh, yeah, so we, delete, we, we go to that branch. Um, okay, we added to all this commit and publish it. So if we look at here, we have a new orphan branch and it's been uploaded. Any questions? You know where I am? Comments below. Please, if you like this video, you must click like. Yes. And share if you like as well. Thank you very much. Bye.